At least four banks across the Palestinian Authority are now again refusing to deliver payments that the PLO directs towards convicted terrorists and their families. The yet unnamed banks reportedly fearing Israeli sanctions that are set to go into effect later this month. One of those banks, though, which took similar steps in May, is said to be the Jordanian-based Cairo Amman Bank. But Palestinian Authority officials are decrying the cuts, demanding that the banks pay the stipends, saying that refusal to do so violates the instructions of the PA government. The Palestinian Authority shells out tens of millions of dollars every year to convicted terrorists and their families as part of the so-called pay-for-slay policy. Israel and the United States long condemning the payments for directly incentivizing terror attacks, especially as the lifetime monthly payments increase on a sliding scale depending on the crime and the damages or deaths caused by these attacks. Also, in addition to sanctions against banks in Judea and Samaria, both Israel and the U.S. have also passed heavy sanctions on taxes and aid packages intended for the PA. Israel withholding tax returns that are collected on behalf of Ramallah equal to the amount that the PA pays under this policy. Ramallah vows to continue these payments, though, calling them a form of social welfare, and preferring instead to cut salaries of PA officials and bear the brunt of near-financial collapse. Now in other news, Israeli annexation plans that were supposed to start July 1 have since been stalled, yet members of the international community are still condemning the proposal. United States Democrats now introducing a bill that would ban United States defense assistance to Israel for being used on expanding Israeli borders under President Trump's Peace to Prosperity outline. Meanwhile, Iranian-backed terror proxy in Lebanon Hezbollah also vowing to do whatever possible to support the Palestinian people and block Israel's annexations. With such dangers in mind, then, AIPAC is vehemently opposing the Democrats' bill, writing that it would be dangerous to weaken Israel's defenses in the face of today's, quote, unprecedented threats. AIPAC, the American-Israel lobby, having also just introduced legislation with bipartisan support, aimed at securing United States military aid to Jerusalem.